I've initialized the patch again. And in this video, we're gonna look at harmonia mode. So I can click there and get right to it from there or the oscillator zoom, just click in the magnifier and get to it that way by clicking on harmonia. We have a power button and we have presets that we can choose from. Now, basically what this does is it's kind of like the unison mode in that it generates additional oscillators. We can generate up to four per layer and we turn them on and off with these buttons. So multiply that by two layers, that's eight additional oscillators plus the two that are the main oscillators for each layer, that's 10 oscillators per patch, which is a really thick sound if you want. Now we have presets and what this does basically, or these presets do are just tune the different oscillators either into chords or specific detuned thickening effects or specific intervals. And I created a preset here called Harmonia Default, which I suggest you do just save the default presets by going save Harmonia preset. That way you can always revert back to a neutral state if you want to experiment with the presets. Now the controls are fairly basic. Each oscillator allows us to control the level of the oscillator the panning, the transposition, kind of like a coarse tuning, and then a fine tuning. We'll look at these controls in a moment, but these are the main controls. So here's that simple bass line without harmonia on. Now with it on, you can hear it's detuned or rather transposed the first oscillator up seven semitones. Let's transpose it down an octave. We can step through the different intervals or click right on here and go down an octave. And I'm gonna transpose the second one down an octave as well. And then we can detune them slightly differently. So this is kind of doing what unison mode does, but we have a bit more control. And I'll pan them differently too. Maybe not detune them quite as much. And maybe I'll turn a third one on up an octave. Now we can control the overall blend of these additional oscillators with this mix slider. So let me just solo this. So that's the short story of how to use Harmonia. These are basic controls up to four oscillators and it's fairly straightforward. Now when we're working with the layer in synth mode versus in sound source or sample mode, we get these additional controls. Now these act as offsets to the main oscillator. So right now I'm using this saw square fat wave and I have all these sliders down at the beginning. Maybe I want to adjust them. So that's sounding nice, but when we're in the Harmonia Zoom, we can now offset those parameters here on a per oscillator basis. So this corresponds to the shape value, this to the symmetry, and this to the hard sync. So let's just solo this out. I'm gonna isolate this one oscillator, solo the track. We have the mix up at 100%, so we're hearing only this. I'll just put the panning in the center. So again, this is offsetting the values that we have here. But we can also change the basic wavetable that's being used to any of the 400 that are available. So a lot of possibilities here. And again, we can offset the phase of this. So let's turn this on and try a different type of waveform here. So a lot of possibilities for shaping the character of these generated oscillators. And again, you can save presets here simply by clicking in here and going to save harmonia preset and it'll prompt you to the right folder. I'm gonna call this EK thick base and it'll now appear in the drop down menu here. There it is. So very powerful. It's just experimenting with it and it's particularly interesting when we get into offsetting the wavetables on these oscillators and playing with the phase and the different offsets here. See you for more in the next video.